man, idols really have it rough. They have to constantly practice refining their skills and building stamina as well as having to keep up an image for their audience and fans. It can only take a single slip up and one can be on the slippery slope down to retirement or a scandal. But what if you could manage the agency? Set the rules and see the fruits of your labour grow from obscurity to worldwide stardom. This is where Idol Manager comes in. Backed by a successful Kickstarter project which earned at $55,332 from a $5,000 goal, you can experience this in video game form. In Idol Manager, you can choose between a male or female manager to start running an idol agency. You can also choose whether you have a male or female rival as well as your group's name. Whichever you pick, you'll get a warning when you try to meet up with your benefactor Fujimoto to start up your business. Fujimoto seems like an agreeable and nice enough gentleman, but your tip says otherwise. If you allow the tutorial to play, you'll get the basics down of hiring idols, a marketing manager, dance choreographer and composer so you can release your first single. Some singles will do well, and others, well, will not. But your struggles as well as the experiences that you and your idol share will make up the main storyline as your city leads up to the summer games. While this game isn't the only game with idols as a focus, how well does it stack up and is it any good? Find out in... The Good. The management side of the game I thought was pretty good. Your staff members gain skill points over the course of the game and you can use these skill points to increase the level of how you write lyrics, compose, choreograph and market a single. Releasing singles regularly and coaching your idols will also improve your staff's abilities. You can also use these points to see what type of music is trending too, so you have a general idea on what to release. As a manager, you can hold auditions to hire new idols and, if you're lucky, you might get a really good one. Each idol does have an ability which can also help or hinder things during your playthrough. You can also interact with your idols over a cup of coffee. With this, you can learn a couple of facts about them which does come in handy for a story event, as well as get the dirt on your group such as who's in whose clique and who is friends with whom. You can also dig up things such as whether one of your idols is dating or not, as well as seeing if the idol you're talking to will mentor a newer member. Another thing you can do is ask your idol for what she wishes for and if you fulfil that wish, then you can earn influence which you can use to make your idol break up with their partner, stop bullying another idol if you know that they're bullying someone, get blackmail material, or delay their retirement, or well, graduation if you're using industry terms. You can also flirt and go on dates with your idols, though you do risk getting in trouble if you get caught. As you play through the game, you can experience random events and depending on how you handle them you might get a good outcome or you might make things worse and get scandal points. Scandal points penalises an idol and the only way to get rid of them is to either change your agency's policies which can only be done every so often, or use those points to get a staff member fired without having to pay them. This is handy when you've gotten a bit further into the game and you can hire more experienced staff to replace the folks you've had since the beginning. Nonetheless, your idol will be grateful and you'll gain influence with them. You can also listen in on your idols and staff randomly talking about things and your decisions may help you be friendlier with your group or provide other benefits. You can also add rooms and facilities to your agency, though as you expand, your rent costs will of course go up. However, once you get a system in place, you'll really start raking in the money and even comfortably take hits if a single doesn't do so well. Save scumming won't help you there either, so if a single was fated to fail, you can't reload your save to try and reverse the chances of it failing or not. You can also start up radio, internet and TV shows with your idols to rake in fans, as well as having your manager look for jobs for your idols to earn money as well. Hang on. That magazine's called what now? Mm. Oh, this is awkward. Anyway, moving along, you also have the choice of having your idols earn money or fans daily, but watch their stamina as they have physical and mental stamina to worry about. The latter is affected when you run out of physical stamina, or if an idol breaks up with their partner or is subject to bullying. Lastly, you can also have your idols hold a concert, hold an election to see who's the most popular in your group, and go on a world tour. These things do affect your group's stamina, so keep track of that too. Concerts have you draw cards with benefits which you can use once per song or talk break in order to make your concert a success. The bigger the hype, the more money you get. Did I also mention that the game has an annual award show that your group can win? Depending on who you nominate, your staff might get a boost to their stats if you ask your idols to thank them. Once you have enough idols on your team, you can also form a sister unit so you can now manage more than one group at once. Double that productivity and release more singles and earn that money. Whew, that's a lot to take in and retain, but once you have a system in place and you manage your idols consistently, then you'll do fine. I thought the game's story was pretty interesting. As your group grows, you'll experience many things like appearing on a game show to try and earn a TV spot for your group, or competing against other idol groups for fame. 
The game does throw some twists at you to keep things interesting, and how you react to them will determine how your idols and the people you associate with will think of you. There are story events around Fujimoto, your rival and a reporter, and depending on how far you get with these stories you may find yourself locked in a route featuring them. The three characters I found interesting, and you get a taste for their true personality and their motives to try and entice you into starting up their route. I also enjoy the dialogue in the game whether it was story related or a random event. Some of the conversations get pretty deep, which I was not expecting from a game like this. Again, I really appreciate the twists and turns the story throws at you to keep you on your toes, and to question whether what you're doing is best for the business, and your morals. Will you succeed, or will you crash and burn? If you just like the management side of things though, you can just play free mode which is just an ongoing management simulator with no story. The game does feature mod support and you could experience the story or free mode with a lot of flexibility. However, like managing an idol agency, you'll have the good times and the bad times. And since we're finishing up with the good stuff, I guess it's about time we talk about the not so good stuff in... The Bad. At the time of this review, version 1.03, I've come across numerous bugs and issues. Some beneficial, and others aren't. One of the bugs I came across was after I'd completed an event where an idol leaves the group to marry my character. However, this was in the middle of a story event, and because of my choices, one of my idols was not very happy with how I handled things. The idol in question was, you guessed it, the one that left my group to marry my character, so it shouldn't even be part of the game anymore. This is also evident by the event not showing the idol in question when normally you would see them. This also changes their retirement status to unknown from whatever the marriage outcome was. But hey, I didn't lose an idol from my group in the end as I had already had a replacement lined up. This wasn't the end of my story related troubles as further on I had to release an idol that was the most loyal to me for story related purposes. The problem with this is, that idol had already graduated. In fact, I rehired that idol as a choreographer, so again, I didn't lose an active idol from my group. Due to plot reasons, I got her back, but you can imagine seeing a scenario where I train her using... herself? There were other smaller issues that were annoyances, such as the game not allowing me to change selection on things, music suddenly stopped working, and the cursor getting stuck on thinking I was dragging something when I wasn't, but thankfully, saving and restarting the game fixed it. Other than that, I had a pretty good experience with the game, so let's wrap it up with... The Opinion Idol Manager I found was a blast to play. There's a lot of mechanics and things to take in, which is easy to learn, but hard to master. Keeping your idols happy and healthy while earning money releasing singles, running shows, potentially a cafe and a theatre, as well as having enough to pay rent and your staff and idols can be a bit demanding at the start, but once you have a system in place, it pays off. Pun unintended. The game's story I quite liked, and the plot kept me thoroughly entertained. Some of the interactions were surprisingly deep, which again was not something I was expecting, but I do welcome it. The only issue I really had were the bugs with the game, which I think can be fixed over time, and while some were amusing and beneficial, ideally you'd want to test things a little more to catch these things before you release the game. If you enjoy simulation games, especially those ones from Kairosoft, then I think you'll get some value out of this game. Hell, if you like idle simulation games, then this is one worth picking up. I bet it'll be even better once the bugs and issues are patched up. But with that, it's time for my rating. I would give Idol Manager This idol who dreams of being reincarnated as a tree out of 10. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next Infinite Backlog Review. If you enjoyed today's review, feel free to check out some of our other videos and subscribe for more. You can also follow us on Twitter, Instagram and our Facebook page. Once again, thank you for watching.